Basketball fans, my uh, my first winners of the weekend. It looks like ESPN's in negotiation with uh, with the NBA on coming up with a play uh, a way to uh, to play a game of horse. Yeah, online. I'd be um, down. Yeah, they got everybody's personal gym, so you don't you don't have players in the same place. You can zoom it in. But really, for the basketball fans this weekend, you get a celebration of the Hall of Fame class. This Hall of Fame class of 2020, um, it, it could be argued, has as much star power as any class of all time. It's led off by Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, and the late Kobe Bryant. I mean, you think of those three names, they could be the three best players at their, at their position, not just of their generation, but maybe argued of all time. We gave you Kobe's accolades and accomplishments inside headlines. Uh, Tim Duncan, the same type of player, 15-time All-Star, a 15-time All-NBA player, a 15-time All-Defensive player. He was the Rookie of the Year, two-time NBA MVP, three-times Finals MVP, five-time champ. You know about KG and what he accomplished. He was drafted directly out of high school, 2008 Defensive Player of the Year, 2008 champion with the Celtics, 15-time All-Star. Tamika Catchings is in the class. We'll talk to Kim Mulkey, maybe the most successful women's basketball coach of our generation coming up here in 10 minutes. I mean, the star power in this class is unreal. Yeah, it's great. But the real question is, who was your favorite Kevin Garnett Timberwolves teammate, Tom Gugliotta or Wally Zerbiak? Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Asking the real questions here on OTB. You know, I'm trying to bring you another name because he had another <laughs> one, didn't he? I don't know. I just always love Googs and Zerbiak. No idea why. Uh, as far as that horse game goes, I'm intrigued. I don't know if they're going to do it live or recorded. Uh, apparently, they tried this back in the day, 2010-11. Didn't really go over well. I, I, I don't remember. We'll, we'll, we'll see, though. We'll see where it goes. I do like that NBA 2K uh, tournament they have going. They got 16 NBA superstars going head-to-head on 2K, and it's right in line with iRacing and everything else. Uh, but my first weekend winner, I think Musso will appreciate this, is WrestleMania. Uh, I did not watch any myself, but the reaction has been such that I am currently trying to bum someone's login information for the WWE Network to watch. Uh, they, so, so they got no fans for the matches, which is pretty weird. You could like hear the people talking in ring and everything, which is kind of interesting. But it seems like the pre-produced, pre-recorded matches are actually the big hit here. There was like a graveyard match with Undertaker and AJ Styles on Saturday that people went crazy over, and then John Cena and Bray Wyatt on Sunday. Either way, at a time when nothing else is going on, like I said earlier, Vince McMahon knows the show must go on. He found a way to make it happen, and now they've dominated all the headlines over the weekend. I'd give you my login info, t if I could remember it, but I mm. do not remember it. I'm sorry. Also, Gronk won the uh, Gronk hosted WrestleMania and then won the 24-7 title, which we had in the studio Yeah, not long ago, like half that? a year ago. Yeah. Uh, the guy, yeah. the 24-7 guy. Everybody loves big him. impact. Everybody loves him. Uh, that's that's what the word is from wrestling fans, but Gronk did not as Gronk uh, took the belt. Got a weekend winner over there, Moose? Nah. Sabotage. Sabotage. <laughs> it's on. You did the just we- throw- the weekend winner is Sabotage. <laughs> you did just throw to Moose when he has nothing in the uh, dog. I, I, I got a lot. lot. I got a lot. You okay, you want me to keep going? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, my next weekend winner, uh, Zoom Hangouts with Friends. And I know that that's obvious right now, but I think there's probably a lot of people like me. I was feeling a little cynical towards this whole thing. Like, what am I going to do? I'm going to want to sit there and, like, talk to my computer screen. Like, I like my friends. I don't think I miss them that much, right? I I don't know if I'm starving for social interaction. So, Saturday night, shout out to the Blackwells. They took a little initiative. They made uh, a few of us couples that are good friends. Everybody, okay, at 8 o'clock, we're going to get on Zoom. And I was very... Like I said, I was very cynical about it. I'm like, oh, I, got, I got like this dungeon I'm trying to run in WoW. And like, that's the time I've been planning to get on all week. So I'll hang out for like 30 minutes and then I'm out. Uh, we end up hanging out for two and a half hours. Drinking, having a good time. It it, it really actually worked. It, I mean, it really does. So if, if you think about it, just throw the laptop somewhere comfortable. Grab some beer, some wine, some liquor, whatever you want. And hang out with your friends, man. You're, you're going to realize probably that you miss them more than you think you do. At least I did. I did. And so I really enjoyed it. Another weekend winner, um, and we mentioned this inside headlines, um, Aaron Bear and quarterback, LSU quarterback, Miles Brennan, who started the Bobby Bear Senior COVID-19 Relief Fund. Um, T-Bob talked a little bit about it inside headlines. We're going to keep him away from remarking here to keep the emotions dry. Um, but outside of the good feels, 
I, I was glad to see that LSU has a quarterback with some leadership. Yeah, yeah, I love this. Um, and and it, it, it's interesting because that's yeah, he's he's using his platform yeah. and using it a very good way, Which, the same way that Joe Burrow did with the food bank up in Athens and. And and, it make, and remember, if you donate to that GoFundMe, which I will tweet out, put in the huddle, uh, it all goes to Oshner to fight against Corona. Which, by the way, um, the, the, the Miles Brennan, the, the story of him being the the, the leader is kind of is kind of lost here um, because of what's going on. Because if you heard Peter Burns Saturday morning, the platform and the 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 opportunity that student athletes have right now, yeah, with 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 just the uncertain times. Of which we live in, um, you you really could go back in history. They never have an opportunity like they do now. So it's great to see you guys like Miles Brennan, who has a platform and has an opportunity to do some some good to uh, to make that impact like he did over the weekend. Taking advantage. By the way, one more thing on that Zoom. If you're like me, you probably also were wondering, like, is it really that much better than FaceTime? I, I thought it was significantly better. I, I thought it worked great. Uh, my next weekend winner. So it's an app. Uh, yeah, I downloaded an app on my laptop. But I think you can phone. do it. You can get it on your phone too. You can do it on yeah. your phone. But I, I found that I, something about the phone holding. I don't know. I just the, the I tripod. found the computer to be like a significantly more quality, I guess, audio visual quality yeah. experience than than was the phone. Uh, my next weekend winner, uh, learning to cook more. I think we're all being uh, forced into some different things. I just figured out I have a fryer that was a wedding gift that I never used for years. Fried up some fish yesterday. It's a dangerous door. Yeah. It's now been open. It's so easy. You set the temp. You're throwing some oil and like, what? I can make fried chicken now? It's a little messy. You can make fries? Uh, a, a, a little messy. I'm, I'm still learning try how to so outside, save that oil. Maybe an outside cooking. I cooked it inside. I'll be moving it outside yeah. next time. Uh, for sure. Uh, even with all the windows open, I woke up this morning and just smelled like <laughs> fried fish grease. Uh, but it was great. So, yeah, I'm going to be frying everything from now on. Learned how to reverse sear steaks. You want to make a steak inside? You can cook it in your oven and finish in a little cast iron skillet with the butter. I never made a baked potato before. Incredibly easily. Incredibly easy. And and then you have delicious baked potatoes. So this is this has been great for my for my cooking acumen. This might be a weekend winner. I don't know if I want to watch another episode of the Tiger King. It brought me just it was so dirty. It just took such a dark turn. End. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, the pho- uh, the phenomenon is not over yet. According to uh, Variety magazine, Netflix is releasing an extra episode of the hit docu series next week. That was according to uh, zoo owner Jeff Lowe, who's trash from the show. He revealed the details about a new episode in a cameo video he posted on uh, Justin Turner of the Los Angeles Dodgers Twitter account, which is a little confusing. But Netflix is uh, Netflix is adding one more episode. It'll be on next week. And uh, they're they're doing the filming this week, according to uh, to Jeff Lowe. You gonna watch? Hey, strike while the iron's hot. Yes, because I'm a yeah. yeah I mean, wow. obviously, I'm gonna watch. I I have to. I'm already pot committed at this point, regardless of what uh like moral or ethical problems I may have with it. Yes, I'll uh, watch. Uh, my next weekend winner. Comfort entertainment. Okay, everybody talks about comfort food, right? Maybe for you, Jordy. Uh, you know, maybe I'm assuming too much here. Maybe like some spaghetti or some sort of pasta dish of some sort uh but yeah but but how about comfort entertainments right so sort of rereading a book that i've already read the king killer chronicles and it's just such a nice familiar nostalgic I- enjoyable place to kind of wrap myself up in re-watching some of your favorite movies uh even for me like playing world of warcraft right turn my brain off get these little little dopamine hits it's it's nice to kind of find Refine some old stuff that makes you happy that you're just re-experiencing.